Hi, my spooky friends, and welcome back to another Halloween video. How is your spooky season going so far? I love Halloween. Okay, so this year, for this Halloween season, we are doing things a little bit differently. We're not just doing makeup looks and costumes this year. We are adding an extra layer an extra challenge. This year's Halloween series is thrift a -ween. <laughs> thrift a -ween, baby. I'm so excited. I love the added challenge of finding our costumes at a thrift store. I've mentioned before in a, um, a video a few weeks ago, a few months ago, I have no sense of time passage. I have no idea, honestly. Um, whatever this was, that there was a thrift store in my city that is like, I don't know why, but for some reason, this particular thrift store always has amazing stuff. Like every time I go there, I always find exactly what I'm looking for. Things fit me there. Things are, are like stylish and cute there. I got this shirt there. And this shirt is cute as heck. It is a treasure and it is like my favorite in my city. <laughs> so that has inspired me for this year's Halloween series, except for Black Milk Halloween, which was last week because you know I cannot miss that. Okay, anyway, but moving on. Because I have this little gem of a thrift store, I love setting out with a little challenge, with a little mission and trying to find the perfect items in a room full of all kinds of different little treasures. Setting out and not knowing exactly what our costume is going to look like and then building a look around what we find there. I love it. I love the hunt. I love the challenge. And that's our Halloween this year. Okay, before I get into our first thrift -ween challenge, we are going to choose our spooky spooky patron for today. Our sacrifice to the witches. Who do we have? Lauren! Hell yeah. Lauren, you are going to be sacrificed to the witches today. Thank you so much for your support, your massive support of the pals of our, my Patreon. You're amazing. You're, you're spooky. You're an angel and I love you and thank you. Lauren, thank you. This video goes out to you. Right, so on Instagram, I asked you guys what videos you wanted to see for this Halloween and Classic, generic, like Monster Squad style monsters. We've never done it. I haven't done like a generic monster from the classic era, you know, like I'm thinking like, you know, vampires, Frankenstein, that kind of thing. The last time I did a vampire on my channel, seven years ago, okay? <laughs> we did a vampire in 2015 and have not done one since. Dracula, this may be your moment. Emphasis on the maybe because we are thrifto weaning. I don't know what my thrift store is gonna have. Can I make a Dracula costume from the thrift store? Maybe? It might have to be a creative Dracula. Uh, Lauren, <laughs> our witch sacrifice, Lauren. Grab your witch's broom and let's fly. Okay, hi. I have the most like elaborate idea for a vampire look. I'm gonna need a white shirt, like a roughly a white shirt, if we can find something like that, um, to go as like the base of the, the look. The rufflier, the better. Let's see, okay. Not seeing a ton of ruffles here today. Oh, well, okay, this might, I think this could work. This is like ruffle light. <laughs> These are teeny tiny ruffles, but I think, I think they could work. Oh, if you guys only knew my plan, I think this will work just swimmingly. She's cute. Let's take her. Okay. Another really good thing about this thrift store is that it's color organized. See all that red? Uh, so we're, we need a red. We need red. Let's go. <laughs> um, okay. I'm looking for like silky, silky red to be kind of like a vest to go over that white shirt. This guy is pretty silky. I'm just not really coming through on camera. Um, oh, elaborate collar. Vampires have like some pretty serious collars happening. Ooh, I like these. Okay, okay. I might hang on to this for now uh, and see what we can find. Oh, collar. <laughs> Look at this collar. This is big. Okay, 
Yeah, I really like how that stands up like that. Like that is some Dracula collar energy, huh? Okay, we're gonna keep this one on the radar too. Okay, I've journeyed over to the dresses just to see what they have. See if we can find anything over here in the silky red variety. Okay. <gasps> Wait, this is so silky and this is the exact texture that I want. Okay, it's long, but we might be able to make this work for us. Oh, oh, oh I like the top right there. Oh, I like that right there. I think we can make this work. The wheels are spinning. I like this. Let's take that. <laughs> All right, so for there, we're gonna need like a black cloaky thing. I'm um, going straight to the black dresses, see what's, looking honestly at the floor to see which one is the longest. <laughs> uh, this guy here, let's see what he is. Come on, camera. Oh, wow. Dazzy. Okay, that's probably not our, not our choice here. Um, but let's take, keep taking a look throughout here. Okay, wait a minute. Those are so cute. Okay, not for our vampire, but these look like bats. This looks like bats, doesn't it? I might just get this for like funsies. <laughs> I might get that on the side. Okay, here's another long one. Uh, that is, okay, camera, please. This is like draped across the front. I don't think it actually unhooks all the way though. This might just be that front piece, yeah. Ooh, if that went like all the way down, it was like a full wrap dress, that would be really good because we could just leave it open for our cloak, but. Uh. We can probably do better than this. Have, okay, we have a black, like a trench coat little number here. The collar's pretty good. It is very coaty though. It's, it, it's probably gonna read like a coat rather than a glorious cloak, so. Uh, whoa, speaking of doing better. Oh boy, this, this. Oh, okay, this is like a prom dress, but what if we cut it like down the middle and open it up? Oh my God, the texture is perfect for our vampire cloak. Ideas, I have ideas. Very exciting. <laughs> oh my God, you guys, hold on, wait, I have to show you this. Okay, hold on, hold on, I don't know where is it, where is it, where is it? Look what I just found. <laughs> Wolfman, yeah? Look what I just found over here. A furry vest. Like, feel it. Oh, I wish you could. Look, look at this. We could do Wolfman. Oh my God, I'm screaming. Okay. <laughs> Wolfman. Oh, okay. Let's go. So Wolfman needs like a, a flowy white button up shirt. So I'm, I'm here in the men's section trying to find something big and loose and flowy on me. This guy's pretty like not stiff, you know? A lot of like dress shirts are really stiff. This one's pretty flowy. And um, while I'm here, okay, there's also a brown vest, which, <laughs> okay, is perfect. There's a single one of them here in this section and this is exactly what we need. Okay, pants, 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 pants. I don't know what kind of pants Wolfman wears. I kind of feel like these jeans are speaking to me for Wolfman. They're kind of like a, they're denim, but they look worn and they're kind of busy and interesting. Um, it has like those creases and stuff. Ah, speaking of pants, okay, this, we're jumping back to vampire here. These pants seem perfect. I love these pants. <laughs> holy God, holy God. <laughs> there is more than one Wolfman vest. There are two fuzzy, furry vests here. Oh God, what do I do, what do I do, what do I do? And you know, actually, if we want to add one more super easy monster while we're here, this is probably the, the easiest costume to thrift, Frankenstein. Yep, you just need like squishy pads, shoulder pads in a like suit jacket, like a dude's jacket. Get it like a few size bigger than you would wear. Yeah. Oh my God, you guys, <laughs> there's another one. <laughs> oh my God, blonde wolf man. Why are there so many of these? Stop it, right, what is this? What is happening here? Oh my God, I'm so happy, <laughs> this is so fun. <laughs> All right, let's get out of here. Let's go make some monsters. <laughs> and we're back, hi. I'm gonna cut it 
shorter so that I can tuck it into pants without it being like ridiculous like a dress <laughs> tucked into pants but I think I might just steam the whole thing to get it kind of like crispy you know what kind of vampire I wanted to be, right? Like, do I want to be like a sexy vampire? <laughs> As you can see, no, that is not where I landed. <laughs> Much more in the like Nosferatu territory, that kind of vampire, okay. <laughs> Lipstick doesn't go with the gaunt, like goblin vampire. That's where I am. Nosferatu energy, like, you know, that's me. So I think, I, I think it would make a lot more sense to just have like crispy crusty lips. You know, maybe some like red, like right in the middle. Uh-huh, uh-huh. That actually already kind of looks like blood. <laughs> That's just lipstick. But oh, you know there will be blood. You know there will be. I feel like I have a busted lip. It looks painful. Are you okay? So we just need to get dressed in our little thriftoween costume. And then I think it's blood. So outfit before blood, because if I'm biting someone's neck and I'm like devouring them alive, I'm not just gonna get blood on my little white ruffly shirt. It's gonna be on the whole outfit. And you know that we're not just simply just doing like a trickle of blood. <laughs> I feel like you know me better than that. I'm thinking like a 30 days of night amount of blood on my vampire. Okay, the pants are like genuinely very cute. <laughs> so I'm gonna try not to get blood all over these because I actually really like them and want to keep them. Oh my God, finally! Finally, you can see how shiny and silky this is. <laughs> finally! All of my footage before this, I'm like, you can't even tell. It's perfect, right? <laughs> I have this and a couple of safety pens to make the back more fitted because we are gonna have that cloak on so it doesn't even need to look good behind there. And we're tucking it in so we don't have to worry about the, the cut at the bottom. I'm so excited. <laughs> Our cloak is that, um, it's kind of like a prom dress, I guess, that we cut up the middle. The problem with that cloak is that it's sleeveless, so like our white sleeves would be like out. So at the thrift store, I also got this silky, can we see it in here? Woo, you can! I'm thinking we're gonna put this on first. This looks so good so far. Ah! <laughs> and we will be popping the collar. And then we just need the dress for the length. Hold on. And then I just wanna grab like a, a safety pin. Uh, maybe I'll get a black one. Because this dress does fit me so well, like it fits my waist perfectly. So I kinda just wanna show that off because, because we found a perfectly sized dress at the thrift store, <laughs> so. Ooh, actually, if I pull the, uh, here, move my chair so you can see. Ooh, if I pull the shirt out, Ah, from underneath the um, the dress a little bit because the shirt is a little bit bigger. I can do these sort of like faux puffy sleeves. Ooh, this is so much fun. <laughs> Blood. Did I 
pour it literally on the pants I said I didn't want to pour it on. here I was, I was spray painting them this morning and now they're drying outside which is good but now I am green and I have to go get them from outside my poor neighbors <laughs> it's like a random Tuesday <laughs> My teeth are 
pink. <laughs> They're so pink. <laughs> They're so stained from my blood. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. I love hair. <laughs> We're getting hairy, baby. Well, it's a good thing those don't need to look good. These glue sticks are like drying the heck out. <laughs> But this is just a base for under our hair, so no worries. It doesn't need to look good. Okay, not a great start <laughs> to the day today. My teeth are pink, my glue sticks are dried. I don't know what a wolf looks like. We should look that up before I start painting. What does... So because this is our wolf fur, we're gonna go kind of more of a grayish sort of wolf rather than like a brown wolf. Yeah, a wolf and elder. <laughs> There's probably different species of wolf men that are gray, okay, but I like the idea of him just being old. Are you ready to paint? your hair there wolf lady complete i mean she matches my my wolf color palette just wear her on my head yeah are you good with that are you good with that i want to say something i want to say something I took my fangs off because I'm drinking coffee. I mean, honestly, I could probably just leave them on. What's gonna happen? Like, they'll be stained brown on top of being stained pink? <laughs> this is so ugly teeth. I am gonna be using Mehron's crepe hair. One thing that I really like about these is that it's a mix of like lighter colors, lighter gray and darker gray, which makes it more of a natural blend. So we don't have to do the blend ourselves. I do have a lighter gray as well, but this one looks like it's gonna be perfect. Like it honestly, pretty good uh <laughs> i might just sprinkle in a little bit of the light gray like maybe just right on the edges of my cheeks like like a highlight you know but of hair ew <laughs> on the next piece of our wolfman costume before we can finish our makeup because I, I, I feel like we need furry hands. The hands are part of it. So from the thrift store, I grabbed like the most flowiest, loosest little white shirt I could find and a vest. I'm gonna go ahead and pop those on freaking Bigfoot over here. I cannot believe this vest was at my thrift store. <laughs> Bigfoot gets a job. My beautiful chest hair. Absolutely gorge. Sexy. I think it's because you can see my ears right now that I'm feeling very simian. Wolfman goes on a date. Ooh, slay. This is like <laughs> Wolfman Fabio edition. Actually, it's not so bad. Do I look like the lion? Am I a cowardly lion in this hair? I wonder if I have any, like, you know that hairspray that's like colored that you can get at Halloween time? I used to have a bunch of that. If I can find that, I think it would be way better to spray some of that in here. Uh, but if I can't, it is what it is. It's Halloween. We're not going for like screen ready movie star Wolfman. It's freaking Halloween. Oh my God, y'all, I cannot believe my eyes. I have black and silver from probably a previous Halloween. I would imagine these are expired as hell. Inspired. That's hard to say with fangs on. Spraying outside is ideal? Yeah. No. <laughs> Not today. Not today, Fright Night. Not today. My neighbors already got Frankenstein. They're not also getting this. Like, look at that. 
that. Look, all those colors. I feel like that's actually so much better. Actually, it would be super cool to be barefoot and attach some of that fur to the tops of your feet too. And like roll these up into capris and have hairy legs coming out. But this is the internet. No free foot content. I feel like I need ears. Nope. This one is so close. If it wasn't freaking yellow. <laughs> Do you think? Let me look up if Wolfman has ears. Oh wait, after all of that, Wolfman doesn't have ears. If anything, he has like elf ear looking things. I guess we just stay looking like a cat from Cats. Couple of bros hanging out, right? Goes to have a little competition to see who has more hair. You or me, man? Wolfman casually filming this outro before I do the hunt. Sorry, I don't have to change back into my witch outfit. <laughs> I'm just listing every classic monster I can think of and then I'm just gonna chop the ones that we do. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> but you know, and I hope you like what we got and the monsters we made. Thank you so much for watching and for joining me on our first Thrift of Ween. I hope you had a spooky fun time and are feeling like maybe a little bit inspired for your Halloween costume this year. Maybe a little motivated to see what you can find at your local thrift store. It's incredible what you can find with just a little bit of imagination. And you can have a one of a kind Halloween costume. I hope you have enjoyed today's video. Lauren, thank you for being our featured patron and just a wonderful pal. Let's name this witch here. This middle witch, this is Lauren. Witch number two. Thank you all for watching. Have a spooky day, a happy Halloween, and I will see you next time. Have yourselves a beautiful day. A very spooky day, a very haunted day, but haunted by like something nice. Like, like I'm not trying to curse you. Like a happy, like a Casper situation maybe. I Happy Halloween. Happy Thriftoween. I'll see you guys next time. I love you so much. Bye. Mwah.